Rami, what goes through your mind? These bombings are becoming more and more frequent. After Mohammed Chatah, we're seeing the Hezbollah stronghold of Dahye once again targeted. Well, we're seeing the greatest uh, proxy war of modern times playing itself out in Lebanon and Syria and Iraq that have now become really one battlefield in which two great uh, ideological camps are, mm -hmm. are fighting to the death like gladiators. Uh, which is building on uh, older rivalries, ideological tensions, political tensions within Lebanon that go back several uh, decades uh, at least, and, and reinforced by the single most uh, terrifying threat to everybody in this region, and I mean everybody, Arabs, Iranians, Turks, Israelis, Americans, everybody, which is the rise of these Salafi, Takfiri, militant Islamist terrorist groups that are close to or linked to uh, Al-Qaeda. They're now in tens of thousands of members. Um, and, uh, and this started really after the Anglo-American invasion of Iraq, which un unleashed uh, this, uh, this great chaos uh, with these uh, Salafi groups. So all of these three things are coming together. Um, and there are uh, uh, tit for tat bombings going on uh, in Beirut, in other parts of Lebanon, and we don't really know who's doing the bombings. This is what's so uh, difficult to, uh, uh, to to find out. It's clear that there's different ideological camps uh, that are uh, bombing each other back and forth to some extent, and it's possible that some people speculate that there's actually a third group, maybe the Salafists, who are bombing right. both sides to create turmoil. We just don't know. So what is this going to lead to, an all-out uh, Sunni-Shia conflict in Lebanon and beyond? No, this is not a Sunni-Shia conflict. This is two uh, ideological extremist camps uh, fueled by an intense rivalry in the region, an ideological rivalry uh, headed by Iranians and Saudis to a large extent, mm -hmm. uh, but including a lot of uh, local actors uh, as well. Um, the, 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 this is uh, Sunnis and Shias uh, get along in most parts of the region fine. They have for hundreds of years. They intermarry, they have businesses together, they go to school together, they play football uh, together. Ordinary Sunnis and Shias are not killing each other or bombing each other, and they haven't uh, ever really done that in the uh, in the modern Middle East. So, uh, so Sunnis and Shias right. bombing each other started after the Anglo American invasion of Iraq uh, uh -huh. and many other events in the region, uh, there are problems between Sunni and Shia political leaderships, uh, but uh, what you're getting here is an ideological war uh, that is spinning out of uh, control and huge existential fears uh, by actors uh, on both sides. And, and mostly what we have is really, I think, uh, bad leadership uh, all across the region. But uh, Rami, uh, I, I was going to say, you say ordinary Sunnis and Shias aren't bombing each other. Of course that's true. I have, I have many friends, uh, Sunnis married to Shias. Uh, so, of course, ordinary people are not in the business of bombing, killing, or shooting each other. But this is happening more and more frequently. There has to be a real risk of this spinning out of control and, and uh, becoming a situation uh, that uh, sort of spills out from the confines of just neighborhood bombings here and there, no? Well, I mean, there are, there are real fears about this spinning out of control and having wider uh, conflicts, uh, more uh, savage bombings, uh, wider levels of chaos. I mean, if this goes on for months and months in Lebanon, the country will collapse, the economy will collapse, the mm -hmm. security system will collapse. Uh, sure, but what I'm saying is this, we shouldn't call this a Sunni-Shiite war. This right. is an oversimplification, and it's much more than a spillover from Syria. Also, this the, the tensions in Lebanon and fighting have been going on for 30, uh, 40 years. It's been aggravated, certainly, by Syria, and you have Lebanese fighting each other in Lebanon, but also fighting each other inside Syria. But you have to see this as Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq now being one big regional battlefield, um, which has been aggravated by the rise of these Salafi, Takfiri uh, terrorist uh, groups. It's extremely difficult uh, to resolve this, and uh, it will be resolved one day when we get better leadership uh, and more rational uh, uh, politics uh, in uh, in these uh, in these countries, right. and less interference by external uh, armies as well. Well, I don't think anyone will disagree with you that the region needs better leaders. Thanks very much, Rami Khoury, live in Beirut for your analysis as always.